when I was younger, we had this uh, little book called Mad Libs, and it was very popular. Um, it was a lot of fun, and uh, it's a program that we are going to create in Python. So if you're familiar with Mad Libs, that's great. But if you're not, I'll give you a little bit of a um, introduction to what they're all about. So you can go to madlibs.com, and that'll take you to this site here. Um, and if you go ahead and let me drag this over. If you go ahead and click on the top left corner, you can go to printables, and I'll click on printables. And here they'll have a couple of examples. So we have uh, these examples here. And uh, you can go ahead and click on this first one, the download PDF. And if you do that, then this will come up. Okay? And this is a Mad Libs, and that's what the Mad Libs book was filled with. It was like maybe 30 pages. And on each page, it had one of these, which was a story. And it was a story where every, I don't know, seven words or so, a word was taken out. And instead of the word being there, uh, its part of speech was there. So whether it was an adjective or a noun or a plural noun, right? And sometimes they had things like, oh, play, say the name of a game, or they said, oh, enter a, a, a number, okay? So what you would do is you would take this and you would ask your friends, uh, okay, give me an adjective. They would give you an adjective and you would write it down here. Then say, oh, give me another adjective. They would give you another adjective and you would write it down here. And you would go down the list and uh, you would get the, your friend to enter in the words for all of these places in the story. And once they're finished, then you would read them the story. And usually they would laugh and laugh and laugh. Maybe uh, currently you're at an age or level of maturity where you wouldn't laugh uh, from these kinds of stories. But this is for like maybe third grade, fourth grade-ish age and uh, you know it can get kind of funny with the with the adjectives that your friends uh, choose okay so this is what we're going to make in our Python program and if you look here uh, it's we can do everything that we need to do okay. so what do we need to do we need to take in input from the user we need to take in two adjectives then we need to take in two nouns then we need to take in a plural noun and so on Right. And so we know how to do that. You can use the input function. And then once they do enter in all of these different words, then we could save them into separate variables. Right? Like this could be word one, this one could be word two, this could be word three, word four, and so on. And once they enter in all of the words, then we need to print out the story. And we can print out the story because we know about the print function and the print function could print out this first part of the story. And we also know about string concatenation, which is the plus sign, right? And so we can concatenate this string with the contents of this variable here. And then we can concatenate the rest of the story here and the next word and so on as we work our way through the whole story. So. Um, yeah, we know everything that we need to know in order to code this. All right. So this is what we're going to do. And, you know, if you're not sure about these different parts of speech, uh, you could always Google them. But just a uh, quick refresher, an adjective is a, well, let's start with noun. A noun is a person, place, or thing. Right. So like a car is a noun. Disneyland is a noun. Um, maybe the sky is a noun. A person, place, or thing. An adjective is a describing word for a noun. So if the noun was man, adjective could be bald, right? like bald man. Or maybe it could be like skinny person. Right? So the adjective is a describing word. A plural noun means it's a noun where you have more than one of them. Right? So I could say lions with an S. Um, and that's a plural noun. And a verb is a word ending in ing, right? So like running, jogging, playing, right? So these are all action words or verbs, okay? 
And actually, a, a verb is like the word run, or the word fight, or the word um, walk, right? Uh, but if you add that ing, that's a different type of uh, part of speech. So that's why here they say verb ending in ing, just to be specific. Okay. So th those are the different parts of speech. And uh, I guess the first part of this program would be for you to write a short story. Okay. And once you write the short story, then you're going to need to go back and pick out some words that you're going to have your friends or the p person who's using your program enter in. Okay, So we're going to have to go back and we're going to have to blank those words out and replace them with their part of speech, right? whether it's a noun, adjective, a verb ending in ing, or maybe you can even say like a game or a number. Right? Okay. And once you have all of that, then we're going to start to program it. So that's the introduction to the Mad Libs uh, book. And now, then the next video, I'm going to show you how we can program it.